Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And you know I like to keep you all up to date on the newest sales and things coming up from Unity and other things in game dev. You know, when money's to be saved, it's never a bad thing. So I'm going to go through two specific things. The first one is the Unity's Toolbox Mega Bundle sale, and we'll go through each of the sections separately and we'll go through some of the tools which might be good for your project. And this sale is running from the 13th of October to the 31st, and it's a 95% off three curated mega bundle packs. And the other one is not quite as relevant as normal, but it might be somebody who likes to get into Coral Painter or different video editing and brush effect packs. So it comes with softwares, brushes, and loads of things in there. And you can pay around $25 for all of the items in this pack and I'll leave all the links in the description for you to check these out and the others but we'll go through all the Unity content today. So for Unity's Toolbox Mega Bundle it's their first pack which is the $25 bundle which is a saving of up to 80% which includes Enhanced Scroller, Better UI and Vault Inventory. There's the $35 bundle which is an 88% saving across everything in the previous bundle including the Endless Runner Engine, Easy Decals, Terrain Grid System, Mon Key Productivity Commands and then the last bundle which is $45 which is a 95% on everything past and present and it comes with the Dungeon Architect, Space Graphics Toolkit, Digger Pro, Volumetric FX and Modeling Mesh Splicer, Dino Fracture, the Dynamic Fracture Library, Motion Matching for Unity, Asset Hunter Pro, Performance Tools, Realistic Eye Movements, and everything that you see in the previous packs. So in the first selection of $25, they've got the Vault Inventory is an extension to Vault Core, which is designed as a multiplayer, an online multiplayer inventory solution using Mirror as a base to understanding your network encoding, and it includes the backend network code and all the UIs for drag and drop. We've got the Enhanced Scroller, which allows you to take lots of data, whether that's thousands of rows and columns, and be able to put that in handy UI elements, speeding up processing and actually saving on memory because it needs to be often lists need to be dynamic but they can have a big big draw on memory so this saves you on that because it's a really optimized solution we've got better ui which allows you to make the built-in unity gui functionality resolution independent and responsive with ease it has lots of different things like i said with the resolution independence it's got responsive design whether it's landscape or portrait for different sizes it's got specific optimized workflows better transitions it's got dynamic overrides got loads of extra options for using better quality images text mesh pro support and lots and lots of different functionality in here and the next pack which is $35 or more with an 88% saving it comes with mon key which is the productivity commands and it's an ultimate productivity booster and workflow enhancer for unity which you can select search rename and create faster with the smooth editor tweaks and it comes with 130 different commands whether you're a designer an artist or a programmer it's got really quick super search it's got hotkey managers it's got full undo support command validation you've got a flexible interface you've got full customization over this and it just allows you to make your navigation so much easier. The next one you might have, you could use is Easy Decal. This is a decal system which allows you to add mesh decals in screen space and you, and you can use deferred decals for your project. So it's fully integrated into the editor. You can use custom materials and shaders. It actually includes ready to use prefabs. It's got over 80 different prefabs included. You can do 3D projection. You can do dynamic geometry. There is a texture atlas editor, decal animations, edge bleeding and we have the next one which is called forever which is the endless runner engine and it's a flexible solution for generating linear and procedural level generations you can procedural with path generation automatic meshes object pooling you can use this for mobile 3d or 2d projects easy and straightforward setup and it has lots of different open source pieces to make an endless runner solution and this next one is the Terrain Grid System, which allows you to add advanced grid generator to create territory or cell highlighters with powerful different features for both terrains and 2D grids. So it allows you to work whether it's an RTS game or a strategy game where you need to highlight specific amounts of cells and have territories which 
become under controls and the last selection which is $45 or more which is a huge 95% saving this includes mesh slicer which actually lets you use synchronous or asynchronous slicing to slice meshes with colliders whether that's box sphere capsule or mesh it allows skinned mesh support it's easy to implement we've got one called digger pro and digger pro is a powerful tool which allows you to dig caves and overhangs into unity terrains and it supports real-time editing giving terrains actually a real-time power to actually create caves and actual holes which is not previously really supported and it's a bit awkward to do the next one is the space graphics toolkit and this allows you to create a space style themed effects whether that be realistic or fantasy world it's really easy to use it's got really long-term support and it's been developed for over nine different years and it's got all support for all render pipelines it's got dynamic planet mesh lod's volumetric atmospheres seamless planetary landing you've got massive planet support a planetary shadow system just so 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 much here that can help you create a sort of space look really really easily next one is you've got some realistic eye movement and this is a component which makes characters more lifelike by animating their eyes heads and eyelids and this human movement data is published from academic research and it allows to create convincing eye movement rather than you just sort of awkwardly animating it yourself the next one included in this bundle is the dungeon architect which is actually a procedural level generation tool which lets you to quickly author your own levels both in runtime design time with powerful tools to be able to stitch prefabs together you can paint your own dungeons with the layout and the editor with artistic control with link it all together with their theme editor which is a new way to design your level without you having to specifically go in and write lots of code or be able to do something that's really artistic and we've got the next one which is the mud bun volumetric visual effects and modeling and it's a real-time volumetric visual effects mesh tool which allows you to procedurally generate meshes you can define the shape the distortion and the surface modification and this is localized visual effects and can be used for volumetric modeling and provides convenient auto rigging features asset hunter pro it lets you find all the unused or duplicated assets in your project and gives you an easy overview whether you want to delete them or opt Optimize them and you use this tool if you want to reach a specific build size or you want assets that are reference for each other you can look for old placeholders for graphics because they might be cluttering at your project it just it's an easy way to take a project that might be really bloated and really trim it down into things that might not be used anymore that might have dependencies or that might need to be cleaned up for the future the next one is motion matching for unity and this is an alternative animation system for the mechanism one that's included in Unity and enables you to have fluid and responsive animations without the need for a state machine, which is that thing that links everything together. And there's no need to specify transitions, define conditions or keep track of anything sort of animation logic, especially if you've got a big state machine, which controls a lot of different animations. Motion matching takes care of most of it with unlimited starts, stops, plants, and turns. And the last one we're gonna look at is called Dino Fracture, and it's a dynamic fracture library. So it allows you to take any mesh and break it apart, and it's a great for any developer that you want to add some sort of life to your project itself. So whether you want to create things thrown into glass or objects or things that you need to destroy, you can be able to do that to any specific mesh that you might have and be able to do interesting destruction so these were all the different assets for this specific sale so let me know what you think and if you pick any of these up because i picked these up because i think they're really awesome come and check out my patreon and get access to over 115 different scripts and projects from all my tutorials come and join me on discord if you want to chat check out my great assets on the unity store and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers